hello welcome back to my channel today we have our july tbr um it is a bit ambitious for someone who works a lot and act like i don't have responsibilities but um I, i'm gonna try i'm gonna try this month in the month of june i realized i need to know where my balance is i need to give myself grace and so that's been my focus and if i don't get to all of these god darn it it will be okay <laughs> um uh let's go ahead and get started some of these i have to haul so if you see them in a haul video just no sh 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 just sh you know um i have not hauled my new books because i am still waiting on one book from waterstones which just finally, after two weeks, clear customs. So, I'm waiting on the book. When it comes, it comes. And I, I don't know what else. Uh, let me see where it's at, honestly. But when it comes, it comes. It just got cleared last night from customs. I hope it comes within the next week, now that it's been cleared. So, um, the first, I'm going to start with our... Um, read-alongs that we're doing we have some book clubs we have some read-alongs we have some other things that we're doing and so i'm going to go ahead and start with that um first is going to be a launchress this is for the brandon sanders brandon sanderson read-along for the entire year of 2022 brandy from books with brandy shanae and i are doing the read-along i am so glad to be out of mistborn and to jump into a launchress this is his first published book, so we, I want to see the difference between his writing styles. We'll have a read-a-thon um, that is in the middle of July, and I'll post those dates down below, so just check them out, okay? The next is going to be Emperor Soul. Emperor Soul, uh, this is a novella for the Brandon Sanderson read-along. It's in here. I just have a physical book. So... <laughs> you know, I was just being extra and wanted all of the, the books, so I bought that. Um, the other book that we're reading, the other novella that we're reading, is going to be The Hope of Elantris, and that is in this book as well. So, again, both novellas are in here. All you need is Elantris, and you need this book, The Arcanium Unbound. So, that is that. Brandy and I have been, since like, February or March or something like that we've been doing a book uh, one book that we've been reading and discussing like on our own private time um, and so we were supposed to start City of Brass last month but we have been in a funk um, I don't know if it's the heat or what but my reading is definitely slacking and so we are supposed to start City of Brass so we are starting City of Brass in the month of July and um, for the month of June, we read the the Blood Trials, and we've been talking about it for a while. So we finally read the Blood Trials instead of reading City of Brass. So now, moving forward, we'll read City of Brass. Next book is going to be the book for Brandy's book club. Okay, so I know she hasn't told you guys because she's, like, really bad at promoting herself. So I'm going to do it for her. She has a membership on her account where you can go to her YouTube page and, like, sign up for her membership. And so Brandy's book club pick that she's starting um, will be starting, from my understanding, she will be starting, and I'll be there, okay, um, is The Final Strife. And so The Final Strife is the book that she picked for, <laughs> for her book club pick, and I'm looking forward to it. It is a chunky book. There is nothing little about this book at all. It is huge. And this is by Sarah L. Uh, Rafi um, and so this is gonna be a good book and I can't wait to talk about it we'll talk about it on her channel she'll be doing like sprints only for members so please just go ahead and sign up it's like two books okay just go ahead and sign up support her channel so she can buy more books and do more reviews okay because I want her to read the books not me so Support, support, support. Um, okay, so the next book, we're kind of flying through this. So the next book is Brandon Sanderson. This is the Alcatraz versus the Evil Librarian, book three, The Night of Crystallia. Okay, so <laughs> this is book three. 
I read book one back in May, I want to say. Or maybe it was June. Maybe I read in June. I I read the books, okay? I read book two. Loved Book one, loved it. If you know Brandon Sanderson and you watch his podcast uh, on YouTube, you know how corny he is. You know how silly he is. This is a middle grade book. So it's going to give you middle grade vibes. And it really is like corny and silly and just like really kids being kids okay um but loved the books and it really shows a different side of Brina Sanderson but there's like some parts of it was like oh that relates to his that relates to his entire life like yeah I loved it so I can't wait to continue book six which is going to be by um Bastel which is the girl in the picture she's like the soldier right so the book six comes out this year um they're doing a whole campaign of like t-shirts and stuff like that which i am going i'm going to get i am going to follow this series all the way through because it is corny it is silly it is giving me those immature fun vibes and like for me that's what gets me out of a reading slump that's what gets me out of like i love fun books funny silly books like i love that and it's in a fantasy world love it love that okay so the next book that i'm reading is god is a black woman by christina cleveland dr dr christina cleveland <laughs> um i look forward to reading this this has been on my shelf for like two three months at this point um it's going to be one of the first books I read. Um, I have to read this and then I need to re read. I need to read something else. I forgot the title of it. But God is a Black Woman is definitely going to be on my um, TBR my, at the top. Okay, July 1st. I will be reading this. Um, I have no clue what it's about. I'm not even giving y'all a synopsis. Am I? Oh, I have no idea what it's about. I don't want to know what it's about. I'm just telling y'all what, what I'm reading. Okay, because. It's been a day. <laughs> I feel so bad. I'm not giving you guys synopsis. This whole video, throw the whole video away, right? So the next book I'm reading is Christina Hanna, The Nightingale. And I hear nothing but like tears and crying about this book. Um, it is set, it, it is set around World War II. Um, and it looks like it's, historic two sisters separate by years and experience ideas passion circumstances each embark on their own dangerous path towards survival love freedom in germany occupied war-torn france oh gosh <laughs> oh anyways i'm ready for the tears i'm ready for the heartaches that is gonna be a good book the next book I have is Binti. This is a complete trilogy. So, so I, I believe this is the complete trilogy. I believe there's three books in a novella in here. So we have uh, Binti, just regular degla Binti. Then we have Sacred Fire. We have Home, Binti Home. And we have The Night in the Masquerade. So this is the complete trilogy with a novella. Um, I want to say this is tied to sci-fi. It says, um, a young girl, Himba, girl, um, with a chance of a lifetime, attends a prestigious Oma's, uh, university. Despite her family's concern, Binti talents, talents for mass mathematics and aptitude. Um, she is a prime candidate to undertake an interstellar journey love that okay the next book we have is uzumaki this was on my tbr for potential get to try to do it try to read it tbr for the month of june did i get to it no did i try no <laughs> so this is a manga um that is inspired by possessions and i love possessions I love vampires, possession, and hopefully no kids are possessed because then I'll be really creeped out. But I just saw, I just saw a kid. Um, I 
I am new to the manga game, so if you have any recommendations, let me know. Um, we are trying to read Saga this month, or Saga this year, which is like 10 books. So, you know, we'll eventually do that. Okay, my battery's about to die. Let me hurry up. The next book, again, I have not hauled this book, but if you see it in a haul, just know it's new. Um, this is Sundial by Katrina Ward. I did something with Jess Owens um, on the Word Hopper channel, and she was talking about this book, and um, I had to get it. So she said it's creepy. Um, all Rob wants is a normal life. You can't escape what's in your blood. She almost got it. Two, a husband, two kids, a nice house in the suburbs, but Rob fears for her oldest daughter, Callie, who collects tiny bones and whispers to imaginary friends. Rob sees a darkness in Callie, one that reminds her too much of family she left behind. Oh, Lord Jesus, I can't wait to read it. Um, I kind of want the UK cover, too. If I really like it, I might just do that. Last but not least is The Ballad of the Peerless Graves by Alex Jennings. This book just came out. Go support. It's set in New Orleans. Okay, do you guys say New Orleans or do you guys say New Orleans? Because I say New Orleans. How do you guys say it? I'm from the Midwest. I say New Orleans. I don't know. Maybe it's the, maybe because I lived in Texas for like five years now. I don't know. I say New Orleans. It's set in New Orleans. Um, an alternative New Orleans made of music and magic. It is a place of sky trolleys and dead cabs where... <laughs> The Hanks dance at the night, dance the night away in Wise Woman. If you don't know what Hanks are, it's part of Hoodoo. It's like ghosts, basically, like spirits that can affect you, your bad juju and give you bad juju. Okay, so, um, why do I know that? You know what? If you, if you have not read, my, um, if you have not read Root Magic, go ahead and do that and you'll learn a lot about like stuff like this, like. To those far from a, <laughs> to those far away, New Orleans might seem strange, but to the peerless graves, it's a simple home. In a world of everyday miracles, Perry might not have a talent for magic, but he knows New Orleans rhythm as intimate as he knows his heartbeat. So that when a city of great musicians starts appearing in the odd places, essential songs are forgotten. Perry realized trouble is afoot. Whew. Okay. Thank you, Orbit Books. I believe this is Orbit Books that, um, but I can't wait. I can't wait to read this. Um, Brandy showed, like, posted this on Instagram, and I went same day when it was released. I had them go get it from the back. I wanted it. I had to have it, and I got it. So, again, have not hauled this. If you see it, you see it. So, that is it. Video. I apologize that this was a little fast-paced more than usual. I'm just trying to get through some things. I'm trying to run the streets. I'm trying to clean my house. You know, I got things to do. So I'm trying to hurry up and wrap up this video because in two days, no, tomorrow, tomorrow's the first and I want to put this video up. So I apologize, but those are all the books that I'm reading. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, go ahead and like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.